Hey guys, hello. This is an impromptu video. I was not expecting this box until Monday. So we're just going to open it up and start it early. This is the cloth and paper subscription box. It is the stationary box. I do not get the pen subscription that they have. Um, so if you want to see what's in this box and don't want to be surprised, stay tuned, join me. If not, um, go ahead and save this video for later and stop watching because I'm about to reveal all. So it is, like I said, the cloth and paper box. So it does come in this nice little box, which the mailman was actually kind of decent with it. So that's good. Good to know. I do love that they put your mailing label on the bottom. So that's really nice. And then it is all, I'm going to try and get that lid to stay up and it's not. So then you get your card that tells you everything that's inside. So it's front and back. There's quite a bit in here. So, and then you have this nice little closet with the tissue and the little, I'm not that gentle with this stuff. And then they seem to always put a little card in there. I actually have the one from last month's box and I cut it down and, and punched it and put it in my planner. But this one says, work hard in silence. Let success be your noise, Frank Ocean. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And then let's get out all of the goodies. And then we'll start the box here. Ooh, I'm seeing some stickers. All right. Move you guys in. Where did I leave that card? I'm going to zoom you guys in. And the card so we know. I do get the mini happy planner version. So that is the size that you are seeing. I'm going to make sure I'm in frame for you guys. So let's see here. Looks like a lot of fun stuff. We're going to set it aside and then I'll bring it in. So the first is November 2021 style vertical weekly. So let me find that and we will see what that looks like. Must be these right here. So this is your November 2021. So it's where you can put your to-do list, you can put your goals, your important dates and your bills due. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I have to say, I have been writing, I set up Octobers just so I can see how the paper is and I do love their paper. It's very smooth, but it doesn't bleed through. I do really like it, so. Let's see here. Let me make sure I'm in frame for y'all. Let's come out a little bit. There. So here is your monthly view. You have a note section here. It is a Sunday through Sunday start. So it does have your holidays in there. Um, tells you when daylight savings times ends. For those of you that do that, I'm in Arizona, so we don't we don't do that. It's sun, sun, and more sun. It does not matter. And then this is the style, the vertical style for 2021, but in 2020 dates. So you have a place for priorities, you have your month view, and then you have each day here. So I kind of like it. I actually just started using this for um, my content planner just to see. So it goes each time over, go to the end. And then you do get a little note section, and then this is just the title page there. So that is really nice. Next is a half page task inserts. That would be this guy right here. Let's see if I can get it open. And 
that's just the top page of it. So it looks like it is just like a checklist. So it's like a mini checklist. So you have, let's bring you in a little bit here. You have a side here that you can do your little checklist and then write your to-do list or maybe like your AM PM routine on here and just any of your daily to-dos and then just pop this in your planner. I will actually, cause I am slowly transitioning for 2021, I will be using a big happy planner. So I will be sharing that on this channel come October on how I'm setting that up. So these I would definitely stick in the middle of that, whether I was using a classic size mini or the big, it's really great just to throw that in the middle of your week as a checklist. So those are very handy. Next is an inbox insert. That is exciting because I was looking at purchasing one. It looks like it has a blue tint, but I think that's just the clear, the clear cover. So let's see here. They do package very well. I will give them that. Okay, I got it off. So you can see that it is completely clear. It does say inbox on it, and this is the clear dashboard. So it's a dry erase inbox dashboard. Use the dashboard over and over with the premium clear material that works beautifully with any dry or wet erase marker. So that is awesome. And it is meant to go with these inbox inserts that they've come up with. How exciting is this? So this is a new product. So these inserts, it says use these inserts with the new inbox dashboard included in this box. Keep track of those messages and questions people send, send you throughout the day. So you have your little email and your little text messaging. I think that's what that is. It's send your email, receive your email, pin it, and then you just put this over top and then you can write in each of the little boxes with your wet erase marker. And you even has a little check box there. I don't know if you guys can see that, that you can check off whatever you've written in that box. I love it. I love it. All right, so changes dashboard. Okay, this changes dashboard is in that same soft material. It is, we've all had to make huge adjustments in our lives this year, but we can take it a step at a time. So this is the changes dashboard. And it is like that soft material that the S dashboard came on. This is a little bit more matte and then this is that soft feeling material. So I like it. You can even take your new inbox dashboard and maybe even layer it over top. Just a thought. I like it. And then you get the November month cover dashboard. So here's your November 2020. It says if people are doubting how far you can go, go so far that you can't have them anymore. Hear them anymore. Michael Reese. And it's that same see-through material. All right, I think we got everything on the front page. Then we have fall winter 2020 magazine dashboard. So that's the fall winter 2020 magazine dashboard. Sorry, you can see there. I can't call 2020. I do not know why Alexa is talking. I did not say her name. You can layer that over top of the changes. Very nice. Loving the dashboards. Then there is a memo notepad. So there is your memo notepad. So this is really good. So you can even put like a magnet on the back of here. 
stick it on your fridge if you need it to. And it's like a blush, kind of like a blush pink, looks like. Slowly losing daylight here. Then Linen Circle Sticky Notes. So here is your Linen Circle Sticky Notes. I don't know if you guys saw on their YouTube channel, they have been showing how to print on their sticky tabs and their page flags. So something to kind of look at, but this is their linen. It's like a light grayish color. Love it, love it. And then Avant Guard Dot Stickers. Ooh, I like those. How many we get in here? So you can never go wrong with a little black dot. Two sheets, transparent material. So that is nice. I'm on the struggle bus, y'all. So you get two sheets, and it looks like if we can peel one up. It's coming with the paper. Yeah, so they are kind of transparent there. So, just a little black dot. I love it. Love it, love it. Definitely will be using those. And then the last thing, when it looks like they sent, which I had noticed, but it looks like they sent um, executive notes like they did in the last box, which I, I noticed this, but it didn't bother me. Like I wasn't gonna shout it out on YouTube or anything. But on last month's box on the executive notes, if you look at yours, if you've got the box where you have all of your months, they actually missed October. Because I actually went to write myself an October note and I couldn't circle October. <laughs> so it looks like they resent them out in the box to everyone who got the box last, last month. So that's really nice of them. So if they happen to see this, thank you for that. That was really nice. I was just cruising with it, but it's all good. All right, so the last thing is some journaling cards. So you get a month view. Let's take all these out here. So you get the November month. And this does have one of those clear films on it because they are completely see-through, but I want to be able I want you to be able to see it. So you have that. And then you get okay, it's a clear card and a matte card. And here's the matte card. So you can write your November priorities. You can put, use the little um, dots actually over top to mark any important dates that you might have. So it's just a matte card. And then you have an inbox zero card. So here you go, inbox zero has a little checklist here and it says set a, a time limit for how long you spend going through your inbox, delete or categorize as many new emails as possible, reply immediately to anything that can be answered in one minute or less, delegate anything that can be answered by someone else, set up folders filters for regular contacts, use keywords in your correspondence so you can search for the thread later, disable any unnecessary subscriptions or notifications to avoid clutter in your inbox. So that's really nice. So it'll sit in your little pocket if you have like one of their covers and then this will stick out so you can kind of take this out for reminders. And then they have an Aisha Tyler quote card. It says, success is not the absence of failure, it is persistence through failure. I hope I said her name right. I think it's Aisha Tyler. If I did not, please correct me in the comments. Let me know because lots of people put R's in my name. So I know how that feels. 
But that is a nice quote. I like that. I will definitely be sticking that in my planner. So that is the cloth and paper um, stationary subscription box. Love that they resent these so that you can use them for October. That was super, super nice of them. That says a lot about their business. Um, if you are getting this box, tell me what your favorite thing is. Mine has to be the inbox because I've been eyeballing that. Um, and so I really like that. And I do like these inserts as well. So I didn't tell you, you do get front and back. And it's one, two, three, four, it looks like four sheets of those. So that is super nice. All right, there is everything. I'm gonna find a place to put these now, get them all into the planner. Stay tuned in October. I have a whole lot of content planned out for October in regards to um, the crafty plan side and crafty kitchen side. And if you like this video and wanna see more of these types of unboxings, please let me know in the comments, give this video a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my little tiny growing channel. And if you have already subscribed and you are back watching another video of mine, welcome. I thank you and I greatly appreciate you watching my videos as well. And I will see you in the next one. Monday's video will be our October monthly setup in my Erin Condren hourly planner. Have a good weekend and a good night y'all. Bye now.